da, da, da. Oh man, it's been a long day, dear family. <clears throat> How y'all feeling out there, man? Yeah, I got to do this podcast, although I'm extremely tired. Nevertheless, man, your word, my word, have to start being my bond on what I say I'm going to do. And um, I'm going to do this podcast. Give me one second. Let me chime individuals in. And we're going to do the podcast, dear family. Tonight is going to be a scholarly teaching. A scholarly teaching, dear family. I pray all as well. I hear my kids down there acting crazy. I pray all as well. I've been with my son all day, man. Hopefully he sleep. <laughs> First and foremost, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, master of death, judgment. Thee alone do we serve, and thee alone do we seek help. O oh, Allah, God is on the right path, the path upon those who have bestowed favors, and not upon those whose wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray. First and foremost, I want to, you know, pray. Um, through prayer, it's like meditation. Faith is dead without work. So when you pray for something, you know that you have to pray. God gave us the hands, the feet, the legs, and the brain to think to produce that which we want, which we prayed for. And this is why Jesus said, faith is dead without the work. So you could have the, all the faith in the world, but if you don't produce what you want, then it'll never materialize. Um, nevertheless, dear family, um, I want to apologize for not you know, getting this podcast out in timely fashion. I've been having a lot, working on a lot. I got some things on the table that I'm working on and it's been time consuming. Um, it's been very much time consuming. Let's get into this podcast. Pain. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you. I'm going to say that again, dear family. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you. Pain uh, is a learning experience. You learn so much through pain. After pain come joys. After difficulty come ease. Labor pains are, according to the sisters, excruciating pain. But after the pain come ease and a great experience, a great experience and a greater understanding, a greater knowledge, a greater wisdom, a 
are bringing forth life, a, a great blessing, pain. When God puts us in uncomfortable situations, in order to be successful, you have to be uncomfortable. Did you know that, then, family? Some of y'all run from being uncomfortable. Some of y'all run from not want to endure trial and tribulation. You're running from the pain. But pain is one of the greatest attributes that God gave us. When the body is in pain, that means that the body is alarming you that something is wrong. And you had to attend to the issue or the problem. Did you know when pain afflicts the body, there's something in the body called white cells. The white cells immediately go to heal where the scar or the wound or the pain is afflicting you. This is why when you get hit in the eye or you bump something, it swells up. It creates, the body is so magnificent that it creates a shield over the area that has been wounded, that's in pain. And it begins to go to work to heal the body. When you have a headache, pain is alarming you that something is wrong. Too much of anything is no good. So you may, the pain may come from stress. The pain, the headache may come from stress, worry, and fatigue, um, lack thereof of vitamins, minerals. So you say, oh man, I got a headache. That's the body alarming you that you need to reevaluate self. And seek what's going on with self or too much of anything is no good. So you thinking too much. Everything represents balance. There's four um, seasons on our planet. And it represents balance. Too much of anything is no good. This is why the body would alarm you with a pain. Even in relationships. Sometimes disappointments bring pain. Pain of disbelief. Pain of the unknown. Pain of the betrayal. And in every one of those situations, you develop a wisdom. You develop an understanding. You develop a knowledge that will assist you and help you through your trial and your pain. This podcast is titled, Pain Will Leave Once It's Done Teaching You. Pain teaches you. Pain gives you experience. Pain gives you awareness. Growing up when young women started their period, they didn't know what was wrong. They didn't know what was going on, so they ran to mama from that pain and those cramps that they felt. And once they learned through the pain and got a clear understanding, they knew how to handle it better. Pain teaches you what to do and what not to do. Even when you consuming foods, certain foods bring you discomfort, pain. It teaches you what to eat and what not to eat. It teaches you what to do and what not to do. Pain.
is an emotion leaving the body. I'm going to say that again, dear family. Pain is an emotion exiting the body, leaving the body. Why do I say that? Have you ever been in a situation that you was emotionally trapped and didn't know how to get out of that situation? And then certain, the universe start calling for certain things to happen and you were able to leave out of that situation. And when you were able to get out of that situation, it was a relief. Because you didn't want to deal with what was affecting you. But you just didn't know how to get out of it. Sometimes the universe has, the universe is in direct connect. We are directly connected to the universe. What is the universe? The universe is energy. Energy is transmittable. So thoughts is energy. Conversation is energy. Because what I'm saying triggers an emotion in you to bear me witness or to say he don't know what he's talking about. Energy is transmittable. You have to understand that. And so when you put things out of the universe, the universe picks up on it, but the thing with the universe, it doesn't have a con it does it doesn't have a conscious like the human being does because the human being is the greatest creation that God created himself. Everything else is in obedience that serves man and woman on our planet and every other planet. The sun serves the human being. The moon serves the human being. Air serves the human being. Water, food, all God's creations is in obedience to the human being. So when you say, who is God? <laughs> you looking at him in the mirror. You looking at her in the mirror. So when you put things in a universe... You have to be very specific on what you say and what you do. Because when you put it in the universe, don't oblige mama say be very specific. For example, I had a family member that always said, I'm tired of my girlfriend. I mean, I'm tired of my boyfriend. I'm, I don't want to be with him no more. She was putting that in the universe. And the universe is going to trigger a response. And that response is what you're saying is manifested in your being, your actions and your ways. So you just said you didn't want to be with this man no more. And in your ways, he's looking at you and your demeanor and your energy is off. And then we say you acting funny. And then you begin to argue and, and dissatisfaction brings about a change. And then there he goes off. The universe really gave you what you asked for. So be very specific when you say things. When she told me that I say, sister, just say today, not a good day for you and your significant other. Y'all going through some trials and tribulations. Be careful what you put it in the universe because you might get it. That's what action and conversation. Be mindful, dear family. Pain. The coronavirus is running rapid and everybody in pain. Pain of the unknown. What is this shot going to do to me? When they say, uh, Ignorance is bliss. It's a true statement. Because fear is man's and woman's worst enemy. And I believe out of fear. That. 
are out of not being able to go sport and play. You went and allowed and made a choice to get the jab. Pain. They said once you get the jab, you feel uncomfortable. Now they saying that whatever is in the substance, the vial, you have no idea what they jabbed you with. Pain, once again, from the thought, what the hell is in me? Did you know that God created an immune system in a human being and there's millions of viruses and disease running rampant? He made this body to sustain all things if you take care of body. But the fear is like pain. It made you do something that you may regret or is regretting. You have to be aware of the times. You have to be aware of who your enemy is. It's chemicals and preservatives and cancer and food all through the meat. The FDA just... Um, came out and confessed that it's cancerous causing cells in all of the chicken you buy at Safeway and all the stores you go to. The truth is going to come, dear family. That's what's killing us. The air is polluted. The water is polluted. The food is polluted. And your immune system is doing just fine, isn't it? <laughs> Dear family, I'm not trying to scare nobody. We just have to be more intelligent. We can't be in fear of. I want to just say on that note, detox if you can. Detox the body is eating one meal a day, the right meals, sweating, putting all the minerals and vitamins that you can, and um, creating a healthy body for self. Let's get back on this podcast. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you. A lot of women stay in a lot of relationships longer than they should. A lot of men stay in a lot of relationships longer than they should. Um, and it's only because you lack pardon me, you don't lack anything. You tied up into an emotional state of mind and not able to think with logic. And so we disqualify ourselves and think in the right way when we get too emotional about things we don't understand. And so when that happens, pain enters. And you get butterflies in your stomach and you can't sleep and you just want your man back and you just want your woman back. And all those situations come about. Well, anything that stays the same eventually dies anyway. So when the pain is trying to teach you a lesson on to do things differently from what you've done then, what was good yesterday ain't good today, dear family. Yesterday's price 
is not today's price. Yesterday's foods is not today's foods. You have to evolve with the times. You have to develop a system within your mind to identify as soon as you do the old, to stop yourself and say, let me do the new. When you continue on down that path, you run into a brick wall and pain <laughs> enters the body. And the pain is never going to leave until it teaches you a damn lesson to change your behavior, to change your ways, to change your thinking, to change your diet. Treat people how you want to be treated. That's what pain is for. Pain is to develop the mind, to grow the mind, to give the mind knowledge. And then when you understand the knowledge, you gain wisdom through pain. What, what to do and what not to do. Where to go and where to stay from. You can identify a deceitful, wicked, jealous, envy person because of the history that you have had from your history and your past. You could see it now because that brought you so much pain. It developed your eyes to see things for what they are opposed to what you want them to be through your pain. Pain is so beautiful. Don't run from it. Run to it. When the body is hurting, it's because the body is full of inflammation. Did you know that? Your lymph nodes is right here. Your throat area. Under your arms. Your growing area. And your emphatic system. You begin to get pains. But the, that's the body alarming you. Messaging you. To let you know that there's inflammation in the body. Stop what you're doing. Change your course. And the inflammation is going to stay there until you reverse it. Until it teach you. You got to do right. You got to be healthy. You got to, I mean, part of me, you got to start eating healthy. Some of you have constipation issues. I'm always on the toilet. Good Lord, everybody house. Hey, look, if you one of my family members, if Cousin P come to your house, I don't mind. I always line every toilet though with they with they tissue like crazy. <laughs> I do that. <laughs> I got I've been doing it all my life though. But I'm gonna use your restroom. But some of y'all have constipation issues and don't know why you're not having proper bowel movement. And it's painful. That pain is alarming you that you need to change your diet. Get more green in your diet. That's all it's doing, dear family. So I'm going to close with this. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you. If you don't want any pain, you don't want to evolve in life. You're going to get pain all your life. To evolve you into a different understanding, a different knowledge, a different wisdom. When you go to school and you and, and you taking a test, you so so much anxiety and pain. But you you know, uh, your wits kick in from you studying and being so tired and fatigued all those nights that you pass the test. You put in a lot of work and dedication in that. That's why it's called sweat, suffering, tears, and pain. That equals pain. Excuse me. Now look here, dear family. This your cousin, Cousin P, man. Whatever I have to say, man. It's just coming off this mind of minds that I'm so blessed that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad came raised from among us to guide us on the right path. He was raised by the son of man that was to come from the east that Jesus prophesies will come. I'll get into that teachings and that wisdom another day. 
But man, don't judge a book by its cover. Read the book. My album is coming out July 15th. I'm in talks with a big deal for my son as we speak. I'm retiring from this rapping. I'm getting into my other ventures in my life. And I've been working diligently. Diligently. Trying to juggle so many things. And it's very stressful and it brings a lot of pain. But through my process that I pain, I'm learning now to organize better. I'm learning now to prioritize things better through the pain and stress for the last maybe five or six months that I've been creating are doing things that I've, you know, my trucking business I just opened. That's a lot of pain getting it together. Um, not knowing whether or not I want to open back up the barbershop. I'm building in the barbershop. That's pain. Having to get my album and be in the studio and write songs is pain. Having to take care of my properties and my tenants, it's pain. Having to make sure my mother good is stressful sometimes and pain. Raising children is pain. Trying to keep a healthy body in this coronavirus state, of coronavirus world is pain. Driving to accommodate so many people that you got to look after, it's painful and it's stressful. However, dear family, Cousin P will not cower down. He will not fall because I'm a God. And the word God only means force and power. It's those that don't know. Who they are or don't know what I possess. So a lot of people assume a lot of things. I had a conversation at night with a dear friend of mine that assumed so much garbage about me that the wisdom that I've given them from the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as a student, the work ethic, the principles, the values, the morals that I display those individuals still lack the understanding of who I am. But that is just God's work, dear family. <laughs> Sometimes God tries every human being. When they say they believe, oh, I believe you, I this, I that. He said people confess with their tongue, but the heart is far removed. When they see something they disagree with or don't like, they begin to assume like a devil's workshop. <laughs> And then find you guilty as charged on all false statements and falsehood. Pain. When you don't know how to deal with the pain, it will consume your ass. So understand the magnificent beauty of pain. The emotion. The strength that it brings. Even though you don't want to work out. Because of the pain. And I don't feel like it mechanism. And, I, I, and you want to be just comfortable. You need to get up. Get out. And I'm talking to you. And as I'm talking to you. I'm talking to me. Get up. Get out. And handle your 
damn business. I close. Pain will leave once. It teaches you. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you, dear family. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in. I, exp I will answer them. Till then, you know, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm dropping five brand new videos. Me, Kick the Sneak, and Richie Rich. We drop it on my YouTube channel. Um, um, Planets. <clears throat> drop it on my YouTube channel. All the um, uh, behind-the-scenes footage of my shows in Texas and everywhere we dropping on my YouTube channel. You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Cousin P. And we're dropping that back to back to back. Um, we doing... What else we dropping? Um, I'm dropping all my behind the scenes with Master P talking and meetings. It's all on my YouTube channel. Go to Cousin P on YouTube. I'm in a lot of pain. The sister said I'm in a lot of pain. As I stated before, pain... <clears throat> it's teaching you a lesson. Pain teaches us. And sometimes when you don't consume, when you don't, when you don't, um, when you don't, what's the word I'm looking for? Get a control of that pain, it would definitely put you in a very uncomfortable situation that you really don't want to be in. Thank you. This was confirmation for me. I have been meditating on the same quote for some days. Peace and blessings. All praise is due to Allah. When I say all praise is due to Allah, it means all in Allah. The word Allah means all in all. You bring all of the names under just one divine name. I'm at the palace kickback, man. You know, I'm doing three shows <clears throat> next. I'm doing three shows in the Bay Area. Me, Kick the Sneak. We going to rock out. Um, uh, well, I'll let y'all know the locations. They, they, uh, my management is getting all that together now. But I'm doing three shows in the Bay Area, man. I'm going, and I'm going to show out. Y'all come out and Support and show your love, man. It's finna go down. And I'm bringing my son with me. And he had his fish grace. You heard me? Um, I want y'all to share this podcast. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you. Um... Know that um, what else I got coming? I got a I got a big business meeting on the twelfth and thirteenth. I'm looking forward to that. But uh, any questions anybody have? Any questions you may have? You. Feel free, man. Any questions that you have or if you even want to come on the live with me, I'll bring you on the live with me. Get your C-Miles. I got your C-Miles. I got like 10 jars left of C-Miles. Get your C-Miles. You know what I'm saying? It's $40 for a jar or it's three, four hundred. You need to C-Miles. Give it to your family members. You have to have the 99 minerals in you to build that immune system and flesh out and it deals with thyroid issues, it deals with cancer, it deals with inflammation in the body, it deals with a gout, it um uh, it raises the sperm count in man. Um um it does so much. I want you to Google the benefits of CMOS. Um DM me right now if you want your CMOS and I'm a personally 
meet you and greet you. That's if that's if you're buying three or more. Three or more. They got to be three or more C miles. How y'all feeling out there? Talk to me, man. What's old? What's new? Give me some information. Let me see if anybody. Um, they, okay, let me see. I see. And I can see the hurt in him. And I'm mad. I try to fix it. It's so kind. Okay, let me see. I'm mad about going and hurt my son. He been by hurting him. Day, okay. <clears throat> Any questions, dear family? If not, I'm gonna hang up. Any questions? You want to know the books I read? Know the books I read. Let me grab this. This book will. Just the name of my album, Fall of America. This book is so powerful. It's teaching on what's happening today. If you got a boyfriend, a brother, a mother, a sister, this is a message to the black man. This book reveals, let me tell you something. This book reveals the origin of the black man, where we came from, where Christianity came from, it teaches about how the white man was grafted into existence. It teaches everything, a message to the black man. Don't worry about the uh, the uh, the person on, on the book. The message is what you need to receive. Theology of Times. Theology of Times teaches on the graft station of the pig and how it came on the planet and how it has worms. It talks about all the things that it, all the prophets that you don't even know about. That's not even in scripture. What does it say? Oh, I love, oh, you be out on your business, huh? Miss Turner, you on, to your own point. How to Eat to Live. You need to have this book in your... So these are great gifts. How to Eat to Live. I have part one and two. Um, I have the Art of War. And a few other books that I'm reading. Do you have any questions? Any questions, baby? Is there any questions you have for your cousin P? Man, I'm just chilling, man. I ain't doing nothing. I'm at that palace just kicked on back. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me see. When can I get that book and how you could get that book? Uh, which book are you referring to? All those books, you could go to NOI.org, NOI.org, and you could purchase those books. Um, you could purchase those books, NOI.org, NOI.org, and you could purchase those books on how to eat to live, Mess of the Black Man, Theology of Time, everything. How to eat to live on. Okay, yeah, they got part one and two. Powerful books. Um, you know, a lot of people having issues with um, so much inflammation in the body, so many pains everywhere in the body, man. You know what I'm saying? Even they having clogged arteries. Clogged arteries is coming from the meat. Did you know that? It comes from the meat. Get off the meat. Soy and wheat 
produces cancer in the body. Two, you got to learn the science of food. And what this book is going to teach you, the science of food. The science of food is certain ingredients that produce certain toxics. All right? If you want to make a meatloaf, you know you need certain ingredients. If you want to make some cereal, you need some certain ingredients. Milk and whatever produces cereal, it's ingredients in both. But did you know the ingredients produces different strains of viruses and mucus and all types of stuff? If you don't know the science of food, you're going to continue to eat the foolishness. And this is why you sick. Damn near having heart attacks and strokes and, and fainting and uh, can't use the restroom properly and headaches and, and all this. And because I'm telling you that, that don't mean it don't happen to me. Oh, I'm always, I got so much of show. I got so much, you know, it be so much on me in terms of responsibility. And I understand why God has placed that on my shoulders because he know I could carry it. But those who know me know my back be locked up. Oh, man, I be, my head be hurting some time. And, and you know, uh, I get through it. You know, I get assistance, I get through it, and I keep working. You know what I'm saying? So understand, dear family, because I'm telling you what's happening. That don't mean it's not going to happen to me. I don't know what God has in store for me. But what I do know is um, um, whatever he put on my heart, I will. I will do what needs to be done. Yeah, that's it right there. NOI.org. There you go. The body cells are more like plant cells than it. Animals, which is why it's best to eat plant based. Oh, the sister is kicking wisdom. You're right, and this is what's been on my mind. Elijah, you know, any detox that will get rid of mucus. Beautiful, beautiful sister. Um, I live in everyday pain. Um, things that get rid of mucus, sea moths get rid of mucus. Um, you have to start eating a lot of Swiss chard, eat a lot of purple carrots, eat a lot of um, green foods, and it, it gets rid of the mucus. Mucus is what causes, if there's mucus, it's because there's inflammation in the body. That, because, that means that there's um, an infection in the body. And the way you get rid of an infection is to clean out the old, get rid of the old and put in the new. So you have to start, um, the body needs to be alkalined. This body, the blood that flows through us, you need to be at a seven uh, pH balance or up. You need to start drinking alkaline water because the tap water and the store waters all have fluoride in it. And it's causing so much inflammation and mucus in the body and the foods that you're consuming is causing it too. So you just have to change your diet. Um, get on, you can't, you know, ask for a detox, take the detox, but still go eat Twinkies, still go eat potato chips that go and put it right back in your system. Get rid of that whole fat milk and get you some organic milk, get you some 1% milk, you know what I'm saying? Um, or don't eat milk at all give your life a chance a 30-day chance to do you better it will do you better if you give it a chance meaning get on good foods they may cost a little more but you can't put no price on your life you if you in pain turmeric turmeric is good the sister just put some ginger, the lemon, the garlic, um, potassium, vitamins. Uh, you know, those are good. Those are good, good substance that you could put into the body. It's very important that you put that in the body. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna teach this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna close with this because let me explain something about food. So you clear 
that this book has taught us because we have a we have been we have been robbed of a name, a heritage, a culture, and a religion. We don't think, we don't act, we, we don't behave. All of it has been reversed. Our eating habit has been reversed. And so we're taught to eat three meals a day. Did you know that one meal takes 24 hours for it to digest? So, for example, you consume breakfast. You got chemicals, preservatives, and poison in that breakfast. You consume um, lunch. It has chemicals, preservatives, wheat, because you eating sandwiches, uh, soy, all these chemicals, preservatives, and poison. Then you consume a snack. There goes some more poison. Then when you get home, you're going to cook dinners. Did you know that you're going to cook dinner? And there go more poison. It takes one meal, 24 hours to digest. So did you know all that food is a buildup in your intestinal walls that's rotten inside your intestinal walls? So the sister's bellies or the brother's bellies are bloated out. And you wonder, and you thinking it's just fat when you got so much toxic in your body because you consumed all this food. And when it takes... 24 hours for one meal to digest. That means that your breakfast don't digest until the morning and you still got lunch and dinner and snacks in you. And then you didn't consumed another breakfast and you build so much toxins in the body and you wonder why you got headaches. You wonder why you can't use the bathroom. You wonder where sickle cell come from. You wonder where diabetes come from. You wonder where all this inflammation, breast cancer come from. The fungus in the body. You got so much poison because you don't know the science of food. Eat less, live longer. That's my point. Eat less, live longer, dear family. You could take it or let it alone. You got it from your cousin P. Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions? Hey, look, I'm doing a big dinner, right? I'm welcoming everybody out to this dinner. Um, it's gonna be in Berkeley. I think I'm, it's like a seating. I think my seating gonna be like 150 to 200 people. I'm bringing my brother, uh, is I mean, um, uh, brother Islam Muhammad out here. He's coming, dear family. He, Riza Muhammad, Riza, Riza, Riza Muhammad. If you don't know who Rizal Muhammad is, he one of the leading um, soldiers in the nation of Islam that's powerful with the wisdom and what's going on with the coronavirus. And he's going to and he's on the board on exposing what the truth is and what's going on. So it's my responsibility and my duty to my people to bring him. So I'm in talks with him now to bring him out here. And we're going to have a beautiful dinner and get some powerful wisdom put in us on how to eat to live, what you should eat, what you should stay away from, what's up with this coronavirus, what they're doing, what's the next. He's going to bring it all to us. So stay tuned. I will have that on my pages shortly. I'm bringing Riza Muhammad. I'm working hard, man. I'm working hard, man. And, you know, whether it costs me two or 3000 to bring my brother, it doesn't matter. What matters is to save the people. God is going to bless me, man. And, you know, the money is going to come, man. You know, um, so it ain't about the money for me. It's about wanting for my brother and my sister what I want for myself. So I'm bringing Riza Muhammad to Berkeley, California, it's going to be packed in there once they find out he's coming. Everybody going to come. Me and uh, Richie Rich is going to put it together as we are now with my lead. And, and I'm, I'm bringing Richie Rich on in. in. Um, uh, Short going to be there. Everybody going to be there because they want to hear what he got to say. And you know what? Um... There will be tickets, and the tickets will be like $10. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody, your ticket going to get you, the ticket between, we're looking at 10, between 10 and $20 a ticket to get in. And that 
is consist of it. I mean, that, that consists uh, with a meal as well. And it's going to be something that I eat, healthy food. <laughs> and then you can sit, have you some dinner, bring your family, and just listen to the information. Take this information back to your family and prepare for what's to come. Make sure you got a generator in your house. Make sure that you got lights on camera. I mean, pardon me, um, uh, batteries. Make sure you buy nothing but white navy beans and stacking up on white navy beans because the food is finna get jacked up higher. And pretty soon there's going to be no food. Something is coming to America that you think this is only the beginning of sorrow. It is never going back to what it was. So, is a Riza Muhammad will be here. And that's, this is the hard work and dedication that I've been putting in. You know, I don't say much on what I'm doing until I manifest it, but I'm working behind the scenes. And for those who talk but don't produce, you ain't qualified to speak on what he doing or what he not doing. <laughs> it's your cousin, cousin P. I'll see y'all later. Any more questions before I go? Any more questions? Any more questions? Any more questions, baby? Any more questions? Going once, going twice. I appreciate y'all listening. This podcast is titled Pain. I wrote it here. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you. Pain will leave once it's done teaching you. Share this to your page. SBSB, so black and so beautiful. If you so black and you so beautiful, why you don't feel that energy in your bones? You should be with the logo tagged on your page. Representing unity. It represents family. It represents black man, the brown man, the red man. That's it. The original people of our planet. Peace.